Hi guys, welcome to this week's update at RGJ Trains here at Dabber Junction. So you might have seen how much we've got this week. This previous week was a bit more than we had, so hoping to get a bit more. So the plan for this week is we have gone and purchased Sculpt Mold. We've seen it on that Model Railway Guys videos, a few others to do with the plastering. So the first bit is actually going to be Rob back with his little creation here. Wasn't it the bottoms and that that you wanted to... Yeah, it needs tidying up, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, he wants to tidy up the bottoms and everything. Tie it into the ground as well. And just make it more, like he said, into the ground, all as one. So we're going to have a play with that. Um, we are continuing, obviously, with our slate mountains. Not those ones, guys. The one that Rob's standing behind. Or next to. Um, <laughs> as you can see on last night's live, well, it won't be by the time you watch this, but when we're recording it today, um, we have finished plastering. I do have to do the end that we kind of forgot about because of where it's going to be, but possibly a bit of sculpt mould there as well. And something that we have already filmed, but I kind of don't want to say because I can't show you it unmade without showing it made. So there's something else that is part of this you might have seen before. So get your thinking caps on as to what it might be. But it was a bit of an experiment. It was a complete, it was just a random thing, wasn't it, Rob? Yeah. I grabbed the camera, so it's not even with a gimbal. So apologies, it might not be straight, but it worked absolutely fantastically. So it's just continuing these two bits, isn't it? I don't know what else we're... Yeah, it's just tidying think, up the... Yeah. the... The hill, the hill over there, in the, over there, and this one here, and, we've also, and got also got to do this bit. If you want to explain, yes. So this bit here is would it be easier if you bring it? Oh, you did it that way. Um, this bit here, which yes, we've got as our pacing table at the moment, but we've got our track along here. Did I apologise for the neighbours? I'm not sure if I did. I think it's a nice day today. People are having barbecues. So this bit here, we've got our track running here. That is still temporary. I've got to unfortunately get on with a Metcalf, the Metcalf kit off of a light, but I have two so I can build one on it just so we know for fittings because we cut this board out with the Bridge of Doom. I looked up the measurements and it's actually, I think, a centimetre thinner. Yeah. But until we get it built, we don't know. So that I need to get done so we can then look at making sure that track is where we want to be. And then building up this bit at the front. So we have a few ideas for that. Harris. Yeah, um, I will, you can get the piece going. Grab I was going to give him if he can think about it and show it later on when we get to it. Okay. So Harris, remember my birthday box and others actually that remember me opening it. There was something there that I fell in love with. And if I say it might be someone renovating... Can you guess what it is? You'll find out later on, but I'll leave you with a little brain teaser there. So we're going to create another kind of landscape with it, but putting that within it. And that will obviously look in our corner, looking out. As Rob moves the camera. That was my fault for moving too quick there. So yes, that will go here looking out. So can't wait to create that, but the Metcalf kit kind of needs to be done so we know where we've got the room and everything. So guys, we're gonna crack on with a few things and we will see you later on in this update. Bye for now, guys.
so guys i don't know what do you think is the student becoming the master definitely not <laughs> So William has been set to work in the shed. He's in here enough. It's time he's actually doing some work, don't you think, Rob? No, he needs to pull his weight and weight. So, yeah, this will be William's first bit of ballasting, I think. We'll see how this journey goes. It's not a bad idea. Going to do I a think bit of ballasting. Should, yeah. What do you think, Wills? Yeah. You think now you guys are moving up here, you might be here a bit more? Probably. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. I'm preaching to the converted. We might have a, another rail modeler on our hands, but I feel sorry for mum and dad. It could get expensive. Yeah, sorry mum and dad. So guys, this isn't on the gimbal, so excuse the shakiness and everything, but we've just tried something out. Now you may have noticed these little 3D printed buildings and Rob's had an experiment. So we're gonna show you painting up this little one and see what you guys think. We got these, do you want to do it as I'm, no. but we got these rail match colour sprays in one of our. Oh, it's just fucking died. No. Yeah. It's literally. It's just died. But that one could be less. So we, <laughs> a mix up of things here. So we got these spray bottles just in part of the donation lot. And we just thought, why not use it? Including finishing one off. So... Definitely something I might think in future for doing other items. And... That was Mum talking when we asked her to be quiet. <laughs> so this is going fully green. Probably not everyone's taste, but we're going to cover this in moss. And it's just part of the scene. I think a bit more green. More of that. Yeah, I'm just thinking that's all red along there. So yeah, this is totally an experiment, guys. Absolutely and completely an experiment. I lost which colours which. <laughs> so as I said, I'm sorry it's not our usual filming, but we wanted to catch this. And we will show you when it's all dried. We're gonna leave it overnight. And hopefully, it's the other side done. That's something I wasn't sure. Yeah. So, as you can see, guys, it's just that effect of the grass all around it. And this one. Grass? Moss. Moss, even. But we get your proper pictures. Bring this one out a bit dried. So, excuse the teacup again there. So, any guys, going to sign off with this one and show you in the morning when it's dried. Bye for now. Grace. Grace is actually letting me do a bit of video in this this time. Aren't you? Letting you? You mean you doing some of the hard work for once? You hogged it all last time. So what I'm going to have a mess with is this sculptor mould. This is going to be an experiment. Hashtag just saying. So on the instructions it's two parts of the compound to one part water. Got the tub to mix it in. Got the uh, lollipop sticks of Paul. So we're going to have a go at that. I'm not going to bore you with watching the entire thing, especially if I make a mistake. So I'm going to hyperlapse it. First attempt, guys. As it says, there's one part of water to two parts of this stuff. Um, you only have to mix it just a few minutes. Um, well, not even a few minutes, actually, probably less than a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So got that down. Yeah, I realised I should straight away. I should have um, laid some tape down on the the tracks, but thankfully I haven't actually touched them. Might have touched a sleeper or two. Uh, but I don't think it's bad for a first attempt. You can sand it down. I had to make a second batch up, so I've actually sealed all the way around it. And with what I've had left, I've just basically done a bit of landscaping at the back of the um, windmiller's cottages. So, yeah, not bad for a first attempt. Let us know what you think in the comments as usual. Thanks very much. Hey guys, so as we reach the end of this update, I know it's amazing we got one in this week. I know it's touch and go at the moment, but we've reached the end. So, as you've seen, Rob has now finished his and it's got to be dried and then that can be painted. But the mountains, which I apologise, one set of mountains is gone, guys. It's too cold this evening. Lovely and warm today, but it's bitter tonight. So, moving on to my other mountains. As you can see, we are all plastered up now. Now, I have had a little play with that little tiny bit of sculpture mould that Rob had. And to be honest, to literally cover up these holes, I'm not going to be using a lot. So, I'm going to plan on maybe covering up just the bigger gaps with that. Especially if it's going to be like a black wash and that. But something you might have seen, we said we'd show you when they're dry, is our little buildings. And I think they've come up fantastic. Now, I will be adding more to it. Moss and stuff. Yeah. But until this is built up in colour and that, it's just, it might be that things <coughs> attach onto the scenery around it. So until we've got to that stage, I can't fully do it yet. And that was just green dark green and a maroon spray paint yes it was one we got donated the rail match rail match that was it we did show it in the video so and our little one here so this one was a slightly darker one that rob went for less of a green because he's actually annoyed with himself he binned a load of them thinking oh they don't work well just a quick tip guys change the tops if you've got one that works and it feels like it's full Try the top first, because it might be that there's still life in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rob? Yep. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we will see you later on in the week for lives and episodes. Have a good week, guys. Catch you later. Bye.